All right, switching gears here now. It always brings a smile to so many faces when law enforcement agencies hold their annual shop with a cop. Yeah, it really does. But as Kimberly Craig explains, it's particularly special because it's for families that have already suffered a lot of heartache. This was such a special day for everyone, letting some very special families know they're not forgotten. This is fun. You having a good day today? Yeah. Christmas isn't every day in between. will never be the same for these children, but maybe this year the holiday season will be just a little brighter. Nicole Johnson's husband, Officer Waldis Johnson, was critically injured when he was shot in the head in the spring of 2017. Go through Target and not worry about um, a budget and just getting the things that I'm usually going, no, we can't afford to, we can't afford this, we can't afford this. This is DPD's first annual shop with a cop and thanks to a fundraiser by Ferragamo along with money donated from 411 Therapy and the Detroit Lions, the children of fallen or critically injured Detroit police officers were treated to lunch and got to shop at Target in Southfield today. Just look around this room. It's us showing them that we care and them, you know, showing the families that when we say that we are brothers and sisters and they are a family, we actually are proving it as well. No more slime. No more slime. Yep. Okay, let's do baby dolls. She's actually just like her daddy, just like him. Wow. One of the youngest here today, the daughter of fallen Detroit police officer Darren Weathers. It's amazing, actually. It's more than what I expected, and it's so helpful because um, during times like this, you actually need people around you, and you don't know who's going to be there, but DVD is always there. In all, 13 children and nine families went away with a lot more than just toys. They also walked away knowing the sacrifices their parents made were incredible and unforgettable. We're expanding every month to try to do something more so that our families don't feel forgotten. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.